Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. It's Vesna here. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is a look for less and I am creating something really cool. So to start off, these are the materials that I will be using to create this. This is the inspiration and this is my friend's picture. She had picked it up and purchased it at Dublin Mercantile, which is a store just about an hour and a half away from here. They have very like rustic kind of decor pieces. And then unfortunately they don't have a website, but they do have an Instagram page. They might have created something for you to buy online now because they they have to be closed because of the lockdown. But this is their Christmas truck that they have on their Instagram page, which goes for about $70. So the truck itself goes for 70 and the tree for 26. So it's it's quite pricey. It is like a stainless, like a steel truck, so probably worth the cost, but it was a little bit out of my budget, so I decided to create my own using Dollar Tree supplies. So what you will need are two of these wooden trucks from the Dollar Tree. Now you could use the Easter or Christmas themed ones if you have them. And then uh, one of the crates from the Dollar Tree, and then I will be using the white paint, the black acrylic paint, and this Pacific blue acrylic paint and a pewter from Apple tr Apple Barrel, as well as a silver acrylic paint. All of them are from this dollar store, except for the Apple Barrel one. I had picked that up at Walmart. They were all a dollar anyway. I have, <coughs> I always have these paints on hand. So I will be using these to create the galvanized look. Then at the end, which I didn't show here because I didn't know, well, didn't wasn't sure if I was gonna use it. I do use, a couple more paints just to create like a copper look if you have a copper paint you can use that I did have some copper paint but it dried out so I had to make my own start off by just removing everything from here and then like the tags and everything and then the um, price tags at the back not the price tag the little sticker tags and then I also go ahead and I remove the pieces the wood pieces from one of the trucks because when you put it together you kind of have to flip over the other one to make it like a three-dimensional truck. So I'm removing the tires, the little rims, the rims and the tires, as well as the little crate, the wagon crate piece at the top. So I sort of use a few things. I use the scraper to get the sticker completely off. And then, not the scraper, a uh, yeah, scraper. <laughs> and then I also use the scraper to get some of the tire pieces off. Some of them came off easier than the others. I wind up using one of my Cricut tools. Sandra from the Schwann's Nest gave me this tip. She said that she had used this for the truck when she was removing it. And I use that little spatula thing to remove the rest of them. I just didn't want to, it was quite glued on there, so I didn't want to break my tool. So most of it came off. It was just this little tire piece that I had some trouble with. I wound up breaking it a little bit, but I glued it back together and you can't even tell. So after I took everything apart, before I put it together on the other side, I wanted to get this side painted because I needed a base for the galvanizing. So I wanted to paint it first so it would have some time to dry off. And then I'd work on gluing the other pieces together and then I would paint that side and the other side would be dry and then I could get galvanizing. It's just to save a little bit of time. You could do it however right way you wanted. This is just what I did. So what I wound up doing is I took that pewter paint and I painted just like a light coat of it on the truck everywhere except for the crate piece because that was going to be a different color and this will give me that base for galvanizing usually I just kind of go ahead and without painting it but this time I tried I wanted to do it this way I will link a few videos 
of where I've done galvanizing so you can kind of see all the different techniques. I always kind of try to do a new technique. And I also created a truck similar to this in red for Christmas, although I used the truck signs and I just did it a little bit differently and I did it a bit bigger. So you can kind of get an idea of how I how to create a truck, you know, watching two different videos will give you lots of inspiration. You could probably do this too if you have, like make it out of foam board if you can't find these trucks. You just have to kind of draw the truck yourself or if you have a Cricut, you could cut it out. I don't know if the Cricut would cut out. I'm assuming if you had like the thin balsa wood or like the chipboard, you could cut it out with a Cricut too if you have the maker. I think the maker is the one that can do that. I have an air, so mine can't do that, but I believe the maker has that option. So if you can't find these, there are options. It probably won't be as cheap as the Dollar Tree though. As I was painting it, I realized that I didn't cover the hole. This is a step I always forget and I kind of wish they didn't have these holes. I understand why they have them because they're meant to be a signs, but I wish they didn't have these holes. So I wind up using some of my wood filler just to fill in that hole. And I put a little bit of a piece of wood on the back and that's just so that the wood filler kind of stays and it gives a uh, smooth finish. I don't know what you guys do to fill in little holes in the wood but this is what I did and it worked out well. So I'm just using my wood filler to fill that in and then I continue on with paint. So I do this on both of the trucks and then I go ahead and I assemble my other truck and I try to, before I glue it on, I'm just matching the pieces to the right side and then I just hot glue them on. And like I said, I did break that little part of the tire so I have to kind of put it back together and the pieces that I didn't use are the pieces that I used to glue on the back of that little hole when I was filling it in. I like to reuse everything. So again, I just use my hot glue to put this on. You could use any other glue that you wanted. Hot glue sticks really fast and it does a good job. I'm not going to be moving this around too much. And if it does eventually fall off, I can always hot glue it back on. But you could use wood glue and combination of wood glue and hot glue if you wanted the immediate hold, but a permanent hold. I just didn't think it was necessary for this piece. And so once it's all glued on, I go ahead and I paint it in that same color, <clears throat> give it a nice good coat, and then I go ahead and I galvanize.
for the galvanizing, I go ahead and I use the silver metallic paint, a white acrylic paint, the pewter, some black, and some of this Pacific blue. And then I just use one of these uh, little sponge brushes from the Dollar Tree and I just kind of dab until I get the look, add a little bit more black, then I add a little bit more of the silver. I kind of do the silver near the end so it gives that shiny effect. And then I just kind of keep on going until I achieve the look that I want. This is really kind of like a dab, 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 dab a little bit of this, a little bit of that until you get the look that you're going for. And you keep on doing that. And I did this several times, as you can see, I'm kind of dab, 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 dab. <laughs> and I paint the tires just in black, but I do that at the end. The blue, I just add a little bit because in my eyes, when I see something galvanized, I see just a hint of blue. So if you, you don't have to add this, you can and you don't have to. I like the look that it gives. And then that's all there is to that. Once I finish painting the tires, I go and I move on to the other side of the truck. And then for the crate, I use just a little bit of espresso brown mixed together with the black because I just put it in the same little container. And that gives me, like I said, that look that I'm going for. And I just do this with both sides of the truck until I get the look that I'm going for. And then, as I said, at the end, I add a little bit of the copper effect so it looks like it's rusty because I wanted this truck to really look like it's aged. So I also painted the part of the crate in that black and brown mix and I also painted the inside of the crate in the black and brown mix and then I just glued that crate to the back here and I glued it as close to the edge as I could so that way it looked like it was a part of the truck. So once I glued that on I went ahead to assemble the front of the truck. Now, I'm using hot glue again. You could use a combination of hot glue and wood glue. But I found that the hot glue sticks pretty well right now. It may, like I said, down the road give, and then I'll fix it. But for right now, it works well. For the front of the truck, I am using some of the jumbo popsicle sticks or craft sticks. And I am just kind of glue. I cut them to size, to the width of the truck that I need them. And I use my handheld miter shears to do that and then once I cut those then I just kind of glue them on as I see fit. You'll see I changed something a little bit near the end and I'll explain that a bit later. 
So again, guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. You can find all sorts of home decor items on my channel. So, And all, they're all created on a budget, usually using Dollar Tree supplies or trash to treasure items and even thrifted items. And I also do lots of furniture flips. So if you like that kind of stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button, notification bell, and let me know that you subscribed or just stop by and say hello. Now, this video is a part of a challenge. It's hosted by Domestic Diva. If you don't know Sonia, she's my sister, so I know her very well. But she's an awesome creator. She hosts these challenges monthly. If you haven't checked her out, she's amazing. She's got, actually now, she's up to four channels. Crazy woman, but she does really, She's she loves doing this. So she's got a new channel. It's called Life with Didi. Make sure you check it out. It's her vlog channel. So you get to see lots of her and her daily routine in her life. So make sure you check her out. She is super creative. This is her DIY channel that she's doing it on. So Domestic Diva DIY. Check her out. Give her a big shout out. Tell her that I sent you and subscribe. And check out the playlist where there'll be lots and lots of different creators doing the Look for Less challenge. So before I glue the craft sticks down, I just want to kind of make sure that they are the length that I need them to be. And then I just start at the very end. And th this one I kind of glued half on the crate, half on the truck. And then the rest of them I continue on. I wound up gluing them on the wheel windshield. And then you'll see that I have removed them because I wanted the window shield, like the windshield part to be open. On the very front, because I had a little piece of these square little pieces of wood that I got at the Dollar Tree or at the Dollarama, I'm not sure, one of the stores. They just, they were like, not square, they were rectangle pieces of really thin wood. And I had cut one up for a different project, so I just used that at the front of the truck. You can't see it because the angle is kind of awkward, but I'll show you what that one looks like after. And I put that just at the front. And then I add like a little bumper with the jumbo pops, uh, jumbo craft stick. And then I paint everything the same pewter. And then I go ahead and galvanize it like I did the rest of the truck with leaving the bumper part a little bit of a different color than the rest of the truck. So once I've galvanized that, I then go ahead and I mm, remove that windshield like I said I would. I just didn't record that. I just gently used an exacto knife to cut out the glue. And then I used these three colors to get that copper color that I wanted. And I just kind of attach it to the rims, to the door, to the like around the window, just all the edges to make it look like the rust. there's rust on the truck. And that is all there is to this guy. I am so excited to be using him in my decor. I love the way he turned out. Let me know what you think. I've decorated him with some flowers, but this is great because you'll be able to, if you create this, and I will be using this in all of my decor. Fall, spring, Easter, summer, Christmas. I'm so happy to be, to have created this guy. 
again, thank you so much for stopping by. Let me know what you think. If you liked it, leave me a comment below. Hit that like button and check out the playlist. Let me know if you think I nailed it. I think I'm pretty close to it. I'm really, really happy with it. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Check out Sonia's channels. Check out the playlist. Thank you so much for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe.